What is the difference between a learning management system and a membership website? Uh, that's what we're going to be talking in this video about. Hi, my name is Jeff Long from the online coursecoach.com website where we have a podcast, videos like this, tutorials, and other tips to help you create effective online courses. And this question is something I get a lot from my students when I'm coaching them. They've either heard about a learning management system or a, a membership website, maybe through a podcast or just online. And they want to know what the difference is. So let's talk about that here in this short video. Well, a learning management system, also called an LMS, is primarily for online courses. So your course might have content like videos, text, uh, quizzes, downloads, uh, reports, uh, essays, anything like that that is a traditional online course is usually in a learning management system. Now, a student can revisit the content, but the course is generally uh, a one-off piece of material. So, you know, the author, maybe you as the author, might update the course, but for the most part, it's a one-time course for a one-time fee. That's what a learning management system is. Now, a membership site is really good for ongoing uh, paid monthly content. So you could have multiple courses in a membership website. Uh, you could have a lot of videos and text and quizzes and content and forums or access to a private Facebook group. But generally, it's you adding ongoing content to the website so that students will want to pay ongoing every single month for that content. So like I said uh, a little bit ago, your course, you could have your course or courses in a membership's website, but generally students are only going to continue to pay if there's more content, more interaction between students, or more access to you. So be thinking through that. How can I use a membership site or a learning management system for my online course? because I know it can be confusing or it can be tricky if you're new to this industry. Now, I will say this. Most of my students use the learning management system uh, for their online course. Now, some of them do eventually add a membership site or a forum or something like that. But for the most part, you start off with a learning management system. Now, that can be done through a variety of methods. It can be done through a direct integration to your website. Maybe you have a WordPress website. You can integrate that directly into your website. So you have the courses, the e-commerce, just everything wrapped into your website. Or you could pay for that uh, for an ongoing uh, fee, whether that's per transaction, you know, per course that's purchased, or just a monthly fee. And that's called a software as a service learning management system. Now, I know it can be tricky uh, to you know, figure out which one you need, which one you want. Uh, so I have a, a, a free tutorial here on my LMS checklist where you can walk through and go through systematically to determine what's important to you. Do you want to buy out the software directly and have it embedded directly into your website? Well, I give you options. Or maybe you're not technical at all. You don't want to bother with setting it up, installing things, plugins, and setup, and maybe there's HTML involved. Who knows? Maybe you just want to pay for a service. And there are options there. And my recommended learning management systems, no matter what direction you want to go. So if what I just said is a little confusing with learning management systems, go to online coursecoach.com forward slash LMS checklist, like you see there on the screen, and you can sign up directly for that. Hey, if you have questions, leave those in the comments below. Let me know maybe what learning management system or membership software you're using, or if you have any questions on which one to use, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to go to online coursecoach.com forward slash LMS checklist to download that free report. And go to onlinecoursecoach.com to watch other videos like this, listen and subscribe to the podcast, and learn more how you can create an effective online course for your students, grow your income, and grow your impact. 
So thanks for watching this video and keep coming back for more of these videos at onlinecoursecoach.com. Thanks.